वेलकम टू माय व्यूज एंड न्यूज हैव टेगर आई एंड अमहारा एग्रीड ऑन हाउ टू रिजोल्व द डेड लॉक हाउ टू ब्रेक द डेड लॉक ओवर वोलकायत एंड राय अलमात कोरम अ डॉक्यूमेंट इज इन सर्कुलेशन शोइंग दैट टेगर आई एंड अमहारा लीडर्स मैट एंड दे रीस्ट एन अंडरस्टैंडिंग नो ऑफिशियल कॉन्फर्मेशन बट नो ऑफिशियल denial as well that is why i will try to analyze this document around 10 main points in this document uh, in the second part of this video sara has updates for you from a uh, quorum zata ofla where a protest has been held second protest uh, in this disputed territory in the last one week or so Firstly, viewers, uh, when Gita Chowdhury, the Tegra interim president, and Amhara regional president Araga Kabbede met a few days ago, and uh, that meeting was attended by Tamasgan Terone, Deputy Prime Minister, and Ridwan Hussain, head of Ethiopian intelligence agency chief, they agreed to. uh resolve outstanding issues committees were formed and now it is being reported that a national committee formed which has representatives from tegarai and amhara have reached an understanding about the resolution to the conflict the dispute over southern and western zones by western zone we mean Mera Volga is Sagade Slamdi. By Southern Zone, we mean Raalamata Koram of La Zata. These two zones are contested, disputed between Tegarai and Amhara regions. This document is a roadmap for how the issue will be settled. will analyze the points mentioned in the document one by one and it seems if the document is uh, genuine that both sides have made some concessions tegarai has uh, shifted back a little withdrawn a little from its strong position about referendum if you if you remember Tegarai rejected the idea of referendum in both Volkai and Raya, but it seems that Tegarai seems to be changing its position. Amhara region is stepping back a little as well. So let's analyze the document. First point uh, is that uh, IDPs will start returning. All IDPs. We know that uh, it was being said. that uh, all idps won't be allowed to return to volkai and rar other those who are original residents will return but here all will return and return of idps again is a contested issue people like damaik zaid who have been saying that some criminals in the guise of idps have want to return to volkai who are not original residents of uh, volkai but here two sides have agreed that all idps will return to both zones if the idps are fighters like uh, tegarai fighters some of them hundreds of them rather are from volkai and rai uh, and they are armed too they can return to but they won't be armed idps will start returning it has been agreed secondly this armament the amhara militias are operating in this in both zones volkai and raya uh it is being reported that uh, the militias will be disarmed they'll be disarmed but not expelled amhara militia members can continue their stay in both zones they will be dis if they are residents of these two zones they are allowed to live here but they are not allowed to be armed so they will be disarmed but they can continue their 
uh, residents are in both zones. Second point, thirdly, disbandment, dismantlement of uh, administrative structure in both zones. We know that in both zones, administration is provisional. It is backed by Amhara regional government. Amhara dominated administration is in place in both these zones. So this administration will be dismantled. Federal institutions, Ethiopian National Defense Force will take over. Third point. Fourth point is that when IDPs will return after the completion of their return, the residents, including the IDPs, uh, they'll elect leaders, representatives. This process will start from Kabale level. On Kabale level, people will elect representatives, and then these Kabale level representatives will elect district level representatives. This is how new administration will be formed in both zones. And after that, uh, and, and during the course of all these developments, federal government will release funds to. I think funds, the budget will be released to the new administration. When new leaders will be elected by the people, then Federal government will allocate release budget for these two zones. And in the end, a referendum will be held at a convenient time and date. When will this uh, time come? No one knows. No details so far. But a referendum will be held. The two parties have agreed reporting. Two committees will be formed to monitor these developments, committees with members from both Tegarai and Amhara sides. Ethiopian military obviously is going to be the key player here. Amhara, Tegarai sides will have to trust the military. Military will monitor all the developments. The committees will monitor all the developments as well. So this is what the two sides have agreed on reporting. Now, RDP's return is going to begin. Before that, Tegarai is going to compile the lists of people, IDPs, who are, I think, around a million. The list will be communicated to the Ethiopian National Defense Force. And after that, the start of uh, the, the return of IDPs will start. By the way, I think that this entire process will take months, if not years. Lists will be compiled, shared with Ethiopian National Defense Force. IDPs will start returning. They'll elect new leaders, uh, cavalry level election, then district level leaders. I think a referendum, if it is held, will be held after several months, maybe next year. Uh, Pegarai has definitely shown flexibility. It was opposing the idea of referendum. Now it has agreed on the proposal of referendum. Amhara militias have agreed to be disarmed, uh, agreed at least by the, the Amhara representatives. We don't know the actual pulse in both zones. Will Damayak Zadu agree to disarmament? Uh, that remains to be seen. But uh, at least Amhara representative agreed to disarming of Amhara militias in both zones. So this is what is being reported by several sources. Since both neither Tregarai nor Amara, no one is dismissing this document as uh, fake or false. That is why uh, so far we can safely believe that document is genuine. The two sides have agreed uh, on how to break the deadlock of Volkayat and Rai. Let's see. We'll monitor the developments in Raya, Alamata, Koram, Marabulkaya, Sagad, and Salanti, and keep you updated. Now, Sara has a few updates for you from Raya, Alamata, Koram, Ofla, Zata. Over to Sara. Hi, there update for you about the second protest. So, let's start. So, first, 
Tigra and Amhara, Amhara fought on last Monday. Tigra and Amhara militias fought for uh, last Monday for 20 minutes. The fighting went on for 20 minutes. And uh, both sides uh, accu uh, were accusing each other. Uh, uh, that uh, Amhara said that Tigra started this fighting and Tigra said that Amhara started this fighting. And uh, Tigra said that fighting went on uh, for 20 minutes. Uh, and no injuries were had. But Amhara said that uh, Amharic side, Amhara militias faced casualties. And yes, uh, the fighting went on for 20 minutes. After that fight, meeting was held in Kokofu between Tigray commanders and Amhara delegations. To uh, finish this tension between two sides, because uh, we all know that Tigray and Amhara have a dispute on two zones. Rail Mata and uh, Vulkai. That's why this uh, fighting uh, was started. But there was no progress uh, uh, on this meeting. So that's why another meeting was held. The second meeting was held and uh, between Igrai commanders and ENDF. And in that uh, meeting, ENDF, uh, 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 ENDF commanders gave some commitments to uh, Tigray commanders. They said that they will disarm uh, Amhara militias and they will uh, ensure the safe return of IDPs, Tigray IDPs. And now what happened? After that, first protest was held by Amhara. Because Amhara government told Amharas to uh, start this protest. And this uh, protest was held in Garjali. Garjali is in Raya. So why did Amharas protest? Because Amharas uh, want uh, this area to not uh, come under Tigray. They want uh, Raya, Amharas want uh, Raya to remain the part of Amhara. They don't want uh, Raya to come under Tigray. That's why this protest was held. And now again, the second uh, protest was held by re the residents of Koram, Zata and Ofla. And hundreds of them participated and they chanted slogans, they were carrying banners and uh, both women and men participated. What was their demand? Their demand was that they don't want uh, to come uh, under Tigray government, they want to remain under Amhara government. So means that Amhara government is backing people to protest. So uh, uh, the Tigray government don't take over uh, Raya. So uh, hopefully soon uh, Tigra IDPs will return and uh, there will be peace on both sides. That's it. Thank you so much for watching this video. Please like and subscribe.